What's up guys, so today I finally got my Hasbro Clone Trooper helmet. I'm going to go ahead and unbox this and give you guys my first initial thoughts. So here we got the Phase 2 Clone Trooper helmet, which is the first time that Hasbro has created this helmet. I've seen a few review videos here and there about it. This is just my initial thoughts on this helmet, which I do have a few helmets already. I have Boba Fett, Darth Vader, and a Mandalorian helmet. I only have three, but this is this would be my fourth in the collection of the helmet series. And here we do have some measurements, but obviously it's in the Star Wars language. But yeah, man, this thing is so cool. Hopefully they do end up making a Rex version, because that would be that would be ideal. I do have an older. So I do have an older Rex helmet right here, but this is one of those like kid versions, which is a phase one. But I mean, it's not too bad as for a display piece. I'm not really sure if it still works. I bought it like over a year ago, but it's still pretty cool in my opinion. But now I got an official phase two black series helmet. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and just give you guys my initial reaction to this. All right, so the first thing you do have is a manual, which is pretty self-explanatory. Really just tells you how to operate certain things or whatever, but we're not really going to look at that, but it's there. So most of these do open the same way. have a lot of cardboard in here just to protect the helmet. So I'm going to go ahead and try to remove all this stuff. So there's what you have of the inside. I don't think it's anything else in the box. So we're going to go ahead and push this aside. And it was pretty stuck in there. So here we have a look of the inside. Now look at that. <laughs> Yo, this thing is amazing looking. It does feel like there's some scratches already on it. I'm not sure for shipping wise, but you guys can see that. But not sure if yeah, you, if you can see the scuff marks on there. And then right here is like a really big scratch. <laughs> But I'm not sure it's really nothing. Yeah, this thing is all scratched up. I'm not sure what that is or why that is. I mean, this one just came out. I get it if it's been out for a year and I just decided to order it and could have got a used one. But this thing is heavy. Look at that. Look at that scuff mark. I don't know if you guys can see that. I mean, it's not. You can complain about certain things. But I mean, if you're paying 100, I think it was like 130. You know, I don't know. You just hope that it's, you know, in pristine condition. You guys can see that. It's a little dirty and i got this directly from hasbro too that, that's that's the crazy part from the hasbro pulse um app so yeah there's there is that i'm not sure if i'm really liking that i mean look at that that's like a legitimate scuff like that's crazy but overall the helmet looks pretty nice it, it it's it's not bad really look at the detail on the inside if you guys can see that it's all black it does have like the respirator right there. You guys can see that. Uh, I'm not really sure where you put the batteries. I'm pretty sure it's going to be like in this area right where the button is. But I'm not really going to mess with that just yet. I just really want to admire this helmet, which it is pretty nice in my opinion. I'm really loving the shininess to it. I'm pretty sure some people are going to add wear and tear for it. I, I mean, I'm just going to keep it the way it is, exactly how it is. I know I've seen people create their own helmets but this is just a way for me to just get an official piece from hasbro but this right here is is a must have item to any star wars collection you know i'm really hoping that they make a uh, phase one and then maybe other variants of other clone troopers like rex and cody but by far this is one of the best pieces that i had it's going to look really good in display I just wish there wasn't really this, like, like all these scratches everywhere. I'm not like I said. I'm not sure if you guys can really see that, but these are these are pretty heavy, pretty heavy scratches. Like you easily feel the indentation right there. But like I said, at the end of the day, it is what it is. You know, I could always return it and get another one. But you know, at that point, you're gonna probably be paying for shipping and all that stuff. So you know, this is ba I'm basically stuck with it. But at the end of the day, I'm not really not too too mad about it it's just oh man this is this is too clean and too cool of a piece to have it all scratched up 
but let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below would you guys buy this star wars black series helmet for i think like i said i think it retail like 125 130 ship but you know i'm sure this could you could get a good sale maybe at gamestop gamestop usually does have some good sales of their helmets but anyway, you guys let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this Phase 2 Clone Trooper helmet from Hasbro. And I'll see you guys in the next one.